Today, let's look at how to create the multi-level platformer game. First, let's delete the cat, and we are going to upload our Mario. Okay, Mario has four different costumes. The platformer is another sprite, so let's upload the costumes for the platformers as well. Make the Mario smaller. Let's adjust the platformer so it appears at the bottom of the screen. The Mario is able to move left and right, up and down, so it has speed in two different directions. We will create two variables. One is called X speed for Mario only, and another variable is called Y speed for Mario only. Okay, let's delete this my variable. Okay, so this is for Mario to move. Every time Mario drops a river or falls off the cliff, it will start from the same location. So let's create two variables for this. One is called X start for Mario only, and the other is called Y start. Also for Mario only. Okay, so to make it easier, I'll put minus 200, minus 100. One more variable we need is the level of the game. We have three different levels, and this level needs to be for all the sprites because all the sprites need to use this variable. Okay, now let's look at coding. For when green flag clicked, I will set all the variables. So go to variables, set. One, two, duplicate, we get five. So I'll set level to one, set X speed to zero, set um, Y speed to zero, set X start to minus 200, set Y start to minus 100. We also need to ask Mario to go to this X start, Y start. Now let's look at how to make Mario move. We will create two blocks. One is called left and right for Mario to move horizontally and another block called up and down for Mario to move up and down. Left and right, we want to be controlled by the left arrow and the right arrow. So I'll go to control, if key, left arrow is pressed, the Mario needs to move the left. So we'll point in direction, minus 90. I need to change the speed. So change x speed by minus 1, so it will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so the value is bigger from 1 to 3. Okay. So let's duplicate this. If right arrow is pressed, I'll point in direction 90 and change x speed by 1. But this is just setting x speed. We also need to change the x position so my real moves. Go to motion, change x by x speed. Okay, for this left and right, we need to keep checking whether user press left and right arrow. So we need a loop, forever loop. Forever, I'm going to check if Mario needs to move left and right. Okay, oh, it goes upside down. So we go to directions, make sure Mario only turns left and right. Okay, let's try again. Can go to left, it can go to right, but it never stops. Once it moves, the X speed doesn't change. The X speed should be slowly decreased until Mario stops. So let's do set X speed to X speed times 0 0.8. Try again. You can see X speed will slowly decrease to zero. Mario will stop. Even if Mario is going left, the speed will also slowly decrease to zero. Okay, now let's look at up and down. When user press space key, okay, so let's do if. If space key is pressed, I want Mario to jump up, so I will give it a Y speed. I will set Y speed. Let's try 10. Okay, similarly, we need to change Y by Y speed so Mario is moving. After that, the Mario needs to slow down until it reaches the top, then it will start going down until it reaches the block. So we will have a repeat until, until I touch the block, I'll slowly reduce my speed. So we can do change Y speed by minus 0 0.5. You can try different numbers. I find minus 0 0.5 looks good. Change Y speed by this, and we need to change Y as well. So change Y by Y speed. Once Mario reach the block, it needs to stop, so we'll set Y speed to zero. Similarly, we also need to keep checking whether user press the space key. So I will do another when green flag clicked forever, checking if Mario needs to go up and down. Now let's try right, left, 
jump. Okay, so this is part one. Part two, we'll look at how to transit among three different levels.